Welcome to the Lost Ball Guide for the 25th release for Walkabout Mini Golf and the second in the Evil Layers series. This is Ice Layer. As with all new courses, there are 18 Lost Balls to find on the easy course. So let's begin as we always do on hole number one. For the first ball, we begin outside the layer on this big ice block. We want to turn to the right and start heading backwards. And up here, there is a gap a crevice in the ice block. And there is the first ball. For hole number two, this time we want to be heading to the left of the flag. And down there, there's a little rock or floating piece of ice. If you step down onto that and turn back on yourself, the ball is just down there. Onto the third ball, this is actually the first place I thought they would hide it, so I'm obviously getting the hang of this. Turn left from the tee and there is a trolley, and on the far corner, there is the ball. For ball number four, this falls into the category of balls that introduce you to little details that you might not have otherwise seen. Head beyond the flag and there are some lockers behind these puffins playing cards. Inside that locker is ball number four. For ball number five, we need to head beyond the flag, past the whole layout and start to head down these steps. When you get down the first tier, turn back on yourself and between the steps, you should be able to see ball number five. For ball number six, we need to go beyond the whole layout again and give him a quick tap. And then down here on the right, Tucked behind one of these pipes is the next ball, which quite neatly is the Norwegian flag. Ball number seven is again stood inside this reactor room and that's the particular reactor we want to be heading towards. So go past this little guy, take a left and then take a right. And down there by the reactor, is ball number seven. That's probably one of my favorite designs, that one. Ball number eight for me was one of the hardest to find in this course, but it's not too far from where you start at the tee. Turn to the right and look down this grate, and there it is. For number nine, we can see on the right-hand side this nest room, and on the bottom right of the nests, tucked behind the eggs is our next ball. Okay, onto the second half for ball number 10. We want to turn back from the tee and there is a water cooler on the right hand side. Just behind it is ball number 10. Number 11, I'm sure for most was the hardest to find. If you're here just for this ball, welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching this particular small clip. We want to be heading out of the building and turning back on ourselves so that we're walking the wall behind where we start. So we've got these kind of great like windows on the left. Second one is where the tea box is. So you can see that through there. And if you move along to the third, down by its side is the next ball. Ball number 12, also really difficult to find. This one has a bit of a story to it. So we need to turn back from the tee and again, head out of this building over towards where this guy's fishing. Now turn right and there is a nice little Easter egg hidden down here. We've got a little igloo and a snowman. It's worth peeking your head into those to see the details. And the ball is just down by the base of the snowman. And we can assume the puffin on patrol carried the ball back there. Number 13, as we start from the tee, we want to head over towards this control panel by the lift, and just behind it, next to this cable, is ball number 13. On to hole 14, and another quick one to find. Turn left and back from the tee, and in this corner by the snow, there it is. On 
On to the last few now with ball number 15. We have these pipes over on the left just behind these sort of portable lights. And if you go around the corner where these two are and look down on the ground, you'll find ball number 15. Still inside the giant freeze ray room for ball number 16, we want to turn left and there is one of these supply rooms. These are really funny, by the way. I'd recommend checking these out. And down by this pile of fish is our 16th ball. Onto the penultimate ball now, number 17. We want to go beyond the flag over by this window where we can see little puffins swimming. There is a pile of sort of weaponry, I think. And just down by them is our 17th ball. And finally, on number 18, if you've spent a lot of time following the path of the course down, you've wasted it. It's actually just back from the tee by this little container. And there is our 18th and final ball. So that's all 18 course themed balls for Ice Layer. We can see them ticked off the scorecard. If we head back to the menu, we can see them coming down the chute. I'm sure there are going to be some favourites for people in there. Please do let me know in the comments if you've got a new favourite, particularly our Norwegian fans. I think there's a chance there's one they'll enjoy. If you're now looking for help on the fox hunt for the hard course that you've unlocked, check out my video on that one. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's lots more walkabout themed content and please like the video if you found this helpful. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I really do hope you're enjoying Ice Layer as much as I am and I look forward to seeing you out on the course.